Hi folks, Head Golf Professional Tim Harris here. I wanted to take a moment of your time to talk about an issue that has come up, it's become a little bit more prevalent now that we're getting into the busiest time of the season. Um, and that is the area around the uh, starters booth and the driving range, the staging area, so to speak. Um, we've been having a lot of issues with people, um, hopefully not, but getting hit by golf carts or just a lot of traffic in the area. Um, so I wanted to just remind everybody that this area, when it is in the busiest time of the year, especially when we have all our, all of our crossovers where we have golfers going out uh, in the morning and we have uh, the golfers coming in and then the golfers going out in the afternoon, um, this area gets really congested. It's broken up a little bit by the, the palm trees and the starters booth and, and we have a, such a small area. Um, a perfect example is what you see here behind me, you know, carts are coming in. Um, we also have golf carts that are parked near the curb and we have other carts that are parked over by the grill area. Um, when you look at the example here, you have traffic coming back here towards me. You'll see one cart that's parked over here by the curb, another one that's over there by the grill. And, and those are left there by golfers who are out on the golf course. And all that does is it adds to the congestion in the area. So uh, a simple way to try to alleviate that is to ask, especially those of you who have homeowner carts, if for whatever reason you're not going to be taking that cart out on the golf course, um, we ask that you please do your best to park it over by the putting green area and we're going to go over there in a minute. Um, but it's very simple. If we have carts that are left over here by the curb, over by the driving range, or just scattered around, it just makes it that much harder for everybody to get through. Um, obviously the first thing to do is just slow down, take your time when you're coming through this area because there are people walking around, there's people in a lot of golf carts. So be cautious as you're driving. and. Do not park by the curbs, do not park over by the grill if you have a homeowner cart and for whatever reason you're not taking it out on the golf course. Sometimes people pair up with other people and they leave their cart here or they simply don't have the trail fee but they drive here anyway and leave their cart. So we're just going to ask you um, to park your carts in a different area which we're going to head over to right now. Okay, we're in the area of the putting green which is just adjacent to the cart barn and as you can see behind me there is ample room to park your golf carts here over by the putting green area. So what I'm asking everyone to do is if you are going to leave your golf cart and you're not going to be taking it on the golf course, please park your cart in this area here. It actually runs all the way up and around the putting green up towards the driving range as you can see here. And if everybody would leave their golf carts in that area and away from the cart staging area, away from the starters booth, kind of away from the driving range, it would give everybody plenty enough room to get around out there where the area is most congested. Thank you.